Just a little update on doll making. I built up the face a bit more, just the forehead and the bridge of the nose, bring that forward a bit. Um, and I tried to draw on some, some eyebrows just to get an idea of the expression on her face. Then I carved open the, the body and taken out the core and started sculpting wider hips and a bust. This bust is um, too big for what I want, but that's just where I ended up for now. I just kind of put clay on the inside of the hip and then stuck the, the ball joint up there and kind of made the socket and that fits really well. So I'm still debating wh whether or not to cut it at the waist or under the bust line. But for now I'm just gonna focus on the shape. Another thing I've been doing is um, bulking up the legs. They're quite, quite bulky now, but um, fit pretty nicely with the, the torso. I think the silhouette will be really nice. So I think I'm going to cut off the top of these and then make sure that the, this ball kind of fits maybe around here so that it's a good range of motion from the hip. Um, another thing I've been doing is I started carving some toes. Um, it's still really rough and in the process of, of just shaping them and changing my mind a couple of times, um, the foot has become quite short. So I think I'm gonna try and I'm going to continue to work on the toes and then I might just build the heel back because that's the simpler part. So I'm going to carve this top down and then extend it backwards. I think that'll be the, the best approach to that. So yeah, that's where I'm at. Quite happy with the progress. I think it's, it's going pretty well. I'm really happy with her face. I might build out the nose just a bit more, the the nose and the forehead just to kind of balance the profile a bit more. It's a little, it's a very, very tiny nose and I think having it go out a bit further than the, the lips would work nicely. So yeah, talk to you soon.